Oh, come on, Bonner, give me a butt. Just one, that's all I'm asking for. J -j Just one. You got a whole carton of them. I know you have. Would... Oh, come on, Bonner. I gotta have a drag or I'll flip. Let me finish it, huh? Sure. Be back soon as court's over. Never in my 27 years on the bench have I heard of a more vicious, cold blooded crime than the murders committed by you. Taking the lives of three innocent men, unfortunate enough to be present, while you and your accomplices robbed a United States post office. Matt Bonner, I hereby sentence you to death as prescribed by law. I remand you to the custody of the United States Marshal, who will deliver you to the State Penitentiary at Florence, Arizona, for execution. But in this case, I delivered this guy to Florence myself. After what happened here, I'm sure you're right. You all right, sir? I'm all right, Marshal. I promise you it'll never happen again. What about it, Lucas? Can you do it? I don't know. It's a risky job. You deliver bread to the prison twice a day, don't you? It's worth more than a thousand bucks. A grand's more money than you've ever seen. You know where I'll end up if I get caught? Nothing doing. You can't back out now. Why not? We got it all set up. All you gotta do is deliver the gun. Okay. You got a deal. Give me the thousand. Five hundred now. It's the rest when you deliver. The job's worth two grand, you know? You made a deal, Joe. Stick to it. All right. All right. Yeah, pick up the marbles. Don't double cross us, Joe. What's the matter with you guys? I'm an honest man. Sure, Joe. Oh, uh, well, I pick up the other 500. We're honest men, too. You could trust us, Joe. Just like we're trusting you. All right, let's get going. You think he's got a chance of breaking loose? You've seen Matt Bonner in action with a gun before, haven't you? Deputy! I gotta talk to somebody! W will you listen? I gotta tell you about Bonner! Hey! Hey, Deputy! I gotta tell you about Bonner! Shut up, you little snake. Deputy! Will you listen to me? I gotta talk! Stony, for the last time, will you pipe down? You don't understand. I gotta talk! Not now. 
Well, I don't mind. Get Bunner out of here, Tom. We're taking him over to Florence right away. Hey, I gotta talk. I gotta tell you something about Bonner. Why don't you listen to me, huh? What's going on then? Uh, Stoney Jackson. Is he in again? In the cell next to Bonner. Hates him. Can't you understand? I know something about Bonner. Keep your mouth shut or I'll fix your wagon good. It's been going on like that ever since Bonner burned him with a cigarette this morning. Uh, Stoney Jackson's a whacked up stool pigeon. I'd like to hear what he's got to say, Tom. Bring him on. Like you can't believe Stoney Jackson. I'd still like to hear what he's got to say. Yeah. Where you been? All right, Stoney. Come on. Somebody wants to see you. Yeah, well, I've been yelling my head off. Well, all I got to say is it's time somebody paid attention all to what right, I got Stoney, to say. All right, knock it off. Hey, Marshal, I ain't seen you since you sent me to that work camp. Well, oh, that shoveling like you killed me. Hey, you got a butt? Anything else we can do to make you more comfortable, Stoney? Not just as soon as I get a light, get a drag off of this, I'll be a little. All right, now that you're living, start talking. What about Matt Bonner? Yeah, well, what's going to happen to me if I tell you? It depends on what you've got to say. Do I ever let you down, Marshal? Now, you're going to give me a break, too? Stop wheeling and dealing, Stoney. If you've got something to say, say it. Yeah. I'll need protection. Stop stalling, Stoney, and get to the point. The Marshal's a busy man. Yeah. Here. Uh, Matt Bonner's getting the gun. Who from? I don't know, but he's getting it all right. Maybe he's got it already, I don't know. Stoney, if you're not leveling with me... Oh, he'd lie at the pearly gates if he thought it would do him any good. Did I ever lie to you, Marshal? It's the truth. Bonner's going to shoot his way out of here. Not if I can help it, he won't. Come on. Well, what's going to happen to me? What about my protection? You... You'll probably be the only one who won't need any. Then, uh, remember, remember, Marshal. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Stay against that wall, Bonner. <laughs> well, he's clean. What about the rest of the jail? We've covered every place Bonner's been outside this cell. Nothing. Put the manacles on him. We'll take him over to the state prison. What'd you find? Where are you? Shoot. <laughs> See you later, Tom. All right, Marshal. Better get moving. Take it easy. Take it easy. We got plenty of time. Well, I don't like it. I tell you, I don't like it. How do you think Matt feels? Come on, let's get going. Okay, okay.
Marshal. Process it. You better keep a close eye on this guy. Word's out he's going to try to make a break for it. I'll stay right with him, Marshal. The warden's waiting to see you. Thank you. Blake, take the car outside. Hi, right, Frank. Come in. Oh, thank you. I can promise you one thing, Frank. Bonner isn't shooting his way out of this prison. Something like that hasn't happened around here in 15 years. I know that, Sam. I just can't get the idea out of my head. Looks to me like maybe Stoney Jackson was ribbing you. I don't think so. This guy Bonner went wild in the courtroom. So I heard. But ever since then, he's become too quiet. Well, I'm sure you checked to see whether he had any visitors there in county jail. I sure did. Not a soul. But you can make sure he's got friends. Only we've been able to capture those two gunmen that were with him when they held up the post office. That was a tough break. Just disappeared. No prints, no clues. Bonner made sure there were no witnesses. Now, now that Bonner's here, we'll make sure of him. What block are you going to put him in? 205 Section B until tomorrow. And after the usual preliminaries, we'll transfer him to the death row. Sam, I... Well, I don't want you to misunderstand me. I'm certainly not telling you how to run this prison. What's on your mind? Well, I think it might be a good idea to screen every man in here who might know Bonner. Take every precaution you can think of. Maybe a few you haven't tried before. He's really got you going, hasn't he? Okay, relax. Admittance, please. Warden Case speaking. You starting to process Matt Bonner yet? I want double security on him until the day he's executed. No cellmate, nobody on either side of him. And anything out of the ordinary, even in the slightest thing, call me right away, will you? All right. Satisfied? What about screening the rest of the prison? Well, we can do that right now. Then after that, if it's all right with you, we'll have some supper. Okay, sir. Our latest edition, Frank. Every prisoner's record is broken down and recorded on one of these punch cards. These records are all cross-filed, indexed? Right up to date. Whenever we want to know the answer to a specific question and in a hurry, in this case, whether any previous prisoner had any contact with Bonner, we just drop the cards in the machine. Wait. You know, before Bonner threw being processed, any man who knew him is going to be questioned and prevented from seeing him. Well, that's quite a gadget. <laughs> well, they'll only invent a machine that'll track down criminals we haven't caught. Frank, the day they do that, you lose your job. <laughs> now, how about that supper? Well, if you don't mind, Sam, I'd like to stop by and see how Bonner's doing first. Well, if you're not the most suspicious character I've ever seen. Well, if you're busy, I'll go alone. Well, you got me worried. <laughs> now what? You got a nice little outfit picked out for you. Shower, feed him, toss him right into his cell. What'd you come down here for? To look at the freaks? Oh, no, Frank! 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 All right. Pick up the clothes. You heard the warden. Pick them up. Still not sure, I should. You're not going anywhere, Bonner. I'm going. When I do, I hope you're on my way. Get him into the shower and then into his cell. You can feed him there. Come on. Now I know what you mean. Come on, let's go eat. Come on. 
come on, we haven't got all night. Quit stalling and get into one of those showers. that water on, I'm going to come in and do it for you. Hurry up, Bonner, hurry up. It's been over two hours since they brought him in. What are you worried about? You're on the outside. I hate that place. Now just remember, if Matt hadn't kept his mouth shut, we'd be in there with him. He'll never be able to pull it off. Five against a ten. Look, there's still time for us Shut to... up. We started with Matt, and we'll finish with him. Uh, you can say that again. <laughs> Mind pot what? Oh, that's fine, Sam. Thelma sent it over. It's my favorite dinner. Still can't get that monster off your mind, huh? What are you going to do, Frank? Worry about it till you come back up here for the execution? <laughs> Thelma's going to be a little disappointed if you don't eat some of that stew. Paul, I've got a full report to make out before I quit tonight. Take him over to the cell block and check back with me.
Captain. Okay. That's all I'm asking for. Just one. You got a whole carton of them. I know you have. Oh, come on, Bonner. I gotta have a drag or I'll flip. Come 
Carter. Let me finish it. Huh? Sure. Papers in order? Uh, you can sign him out. Okay, Bonner. He'll be back as soon as court's over. Never in my 27 years on the bench have I heard of a more vicious, cold-blooded crime than the murders committed by you. Taking the lives of three innocent men, unfortunate enough to be present, while you and your accomplices robbed a United States post office. Matt Bonner, I hereby sentence you to death as prescribed by law. I remand you to the custody of the United States Marshal, who will deliver you to the state penitentiary at Florence, Arizona, for execution.